Landis has anchored during several momentous Colorado news stories. Now for the first time, we're getting a better look at the area impacted by the Black Forest Fire. The Hammond Fire, which was obviously a huge, 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 huge story. They put me up in the chopper uh, doing field anchoring from the helicopter. Those were also top of mind at an NRA event that will feature President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. It's later this week. That action coming nearly five months to the day of the New Year's Eve ambush that killed Parrish and wounded fellow deputy Jeff Kelly. Among them, the Pope's visit to World Youth Day in 1993. We got to go to Rome for World Youth Day, had, a, as I like to say, a 22 second and 13 frame visit with the Pope. <laughs> that was our audience. Welcome to 11 Alive News from our studios in the Global Olympic Village, and we welcome the world to Atlanta. Mike Landis, who is a WXIA anchor, is in um, his newsroom now with some late material for us, Mike. Actually, Tom, we're looking at a situation in which the young people who were in that park tonight uh, had been dancing and singing before this concert took place. Six years later, Landis went to WTTG, the Fox affiliate in Washington, D.C., and anchored local coverage of the 9-11 attack on the Pentagon. Today, the vice president was visiting the U.S.-Mexico border in California to get a look at the border wall. This is a caravan of migrants from Central America wait to seek entry for some of them. It's been a month-long journey from countries including El Salvador and Honduras. Guys, yeah, love helpful. the draft picks. Love That's it. Right. Good, Good stuff. stuff. All right, thanks. Right.